Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and welcome to How to Feed the Beast in Horizons. Yes, we're switching over to the new Horizons Feed the Beast mod pack and as usual we're going to be skipping over the basics of vanilla Minecraft and moving straight on to the basics of some of the mods from the Horizons pack. So, the first item we're going to look at today is from the Rotary Craft mod. The item we're going to be looking at today is the Blast Furnace. This is one of the very first machine blocks you can build with the Rotary Craft mod and is used to produce steel, which is one of the main crafting materials used in that mod. It doesn't require a lot of materials, it's very simple to build, but it does take a little bit of time to get up and running. So let's head over to the barn and we can start getting it produced. Okay guys, so the materials to build are quite simple. Obviously you're going to need a crafting bench and you're going to need eight stone or smooth stone. So if all you have is cobblestone, you're going to need to cook that into a furnace to turn it into stone. Place the blocks in a crafting table, two by two, will give you four stone bricks. And do that twice because you want to have eight stone bricks. In the crafting table, place the eight stone bricks around the outside with a single piece of redstone in the center. And there you have your blast furnace. It's really that easy to create. Now let's go and pop it down outside already got a little spot for it. I've made this little cove out of stone. You don't need to do this, but I'll explain why I've done it later. I'm just going to pop the furnace down there. If we right click and look at the interface, you can see on the left hand side we have temperature. We have two input boxes here on the left next to the temperature. We have our input for iron, which is the material that we turn into steel. And we have our output slots on the right hand side. Now the first thing you're going to need to do to get the blast furnace to work is to get the temperature up. The temperature needs to be at least 600 degrees C. Now the best way to do that is with a bucket of lava. You can either put the lava next to the blast furnace or below it. Bear in mind if you're going to put the blast furnace above a block of lava, be careful that you don't accidentally place the blast furnace in the lava block. You can have multiple blocks of lava, it doesn't really make any difference, it's not going to make the furnace any quicker or any hotter. As you can see, the temperature is starting to rise, but fairly slowly. The only thing to note with the blast furnace is if you're using it in a colder biome, such as a tundra biome or a snow biome, it will only get up to a maximum temperature of 580 degrees. Now you can get around this by using things like heaters, but unfortunately you can't build heaters yet because you need to actually have random pig you need to actually have the steel that is produced from the blast furnace in order to make the heater so make sure that your first blast furnace is placed somewhere where the temperature is going to be relatively temperate okay well we're at 170 degrees now but it's still going to take a little while so while that's heating up i want to show you something else you can build that's quite useful so if any of you are familiar with the Tinker's Construct mod, you'll know that you actually start the game, you spawn in holding a Tinker's Construct book, which actually gives you some of the basics. Now one of these actually exists for Rotary Craft, but you don't start with it, you have to produce it. It's quite easy to make, what you're going to need is iron, redstone and paper. You need to place two redstone in the top two corners of a crafting table, with one iron bar in the center, in the top center and then six pieces of paper to fill the remaining slots and that will give you the rotary craft handbook now, this is a very big and detailed book has a lot of pages but it basically tells you all of the machines items upgrades components that you can build using this particular mod so it's a very useful thing have a look through there and it'll basically show you the types of things that you can build. So let's go back to our blast furnace and see if it's finally got up to temperature. Okay, so let's go and have a look at the blast furnace. And as you can see, we are now up to 625 degrees C, which is the maximum temperature that it will get to in a normal climate with lava. So what you need to do in these two slots on the left hand side, you need coal in the top slot and gunpowder in the bottom slot. So better get to killing those creepers. The rest of the slots you need to fill up with iron ingots. And once you've filled all nine slots, it will start to produce steel. Now the more iron ingots you have in these slots, the more productive the blast furnace will be. 
So, the best thing to do is get as much iron as you can and completely fill it up. As you can see, we are already producing steel ingots. Now, you do need to have both the coal and the gunpowder in here for this to work. If we take the gunpowder out, you'll see it's now no longer producing. So, it does require both. It will use coal every single time it makes some steel. However, it won't always use the gunpowder. Sometimes it will. There is a chance it will use gunpowder. As you can see just there, it's actually used one of the gunpowder. But you get a fair bit of steel ingots. Now, these are HSLA steel ingots. And as you can see at the bottom there, specifically says they are for rotary craft. We got 13 from that lot. And if you wait for the second lot, you can see we only get 12 because there's less iron in there. So the more iron you have in the blast furnace, the more ingots, the more steel ingots you're going to get when it finishes its production. As you can see, we only got nine. So if you have nine iron, you only get nine steel. If you have two stacks of nine, you get 12. If you have three stacks of nine, you get more. It's not always the same, but the general rule is the more iron you put in, the more steel you will get. And this is one of our primary building materials for the Rotary Craft mod, which we are going to use to build all of the next machines. So guys, there you go. You now know how to make the Blast Furnace, the first machine block from the Rotary Craft mod in the New Horizons mod pack. I hope you'll join me on the next video where I will be making the Rotary Craft specific crafting table. And remember, if you have enjoyed this video, to like, share and subscribe as it helps the channel to grow. And I'll see you next time. So until then, Goodbye for now.